You know where we are. When it rains, it floods here. Today, much worse than usual. A viewer sent us drone footage from Botetourt Street and Mowbray Arch on The Hague in Norfolk. And here's a look from the ground. Some people made the most of it by kayaking, but not everyone was having fun here. Number of cars stalled out in the water on Olney and Bush. 13 News Now reporter Matt Greger has been all over the city tonight. A lot of high water all over the place there, Matt, right? Yeah, well, what we saw, Nicole and David, was we saw, you know, flooding in Ocean View all the way down here to The Hague, like we were just looking at. And here at The Hague, usually when it rains or we have a high tide, it gets bad. And even though this wasn't as bad as some of the storms people have seen previously, it still caused a lot of problems across Norfolk. This is life at sea level. Hurricane Dorian beat down on Hampton Roads, and the usual trouble spots in Norfolk started to flood. It's flooded like this, and I guarantee high tide ain't hit until like three or four o'clock, yeah, so yeah. it's gonna be definitely higher. In Ocean View, it started along Pleasant Avenue. Eric Mack has lived here for 10 years, and he's seen it all. So what's the worst you can remember in terms of flooding? Um, I lived on Ninth Bay, and I stayed in an apartment complex, and I had six steps that went up to my apartment complex, and oh, it was wow. coming, it was almost coming into the door, and that was on a Northeastern. So not the worst he's seen, but still the water rose enough to capture cars, flood yards, and block streets. And it's the same story in Colonial Place. But the floodwaters created a special type of chaos on Hampton Boulevard. Just driving through and saw that one car had been flooded out, so we stopped to help them, and we've been stopped helping people, stopping them from going through the water ever since. For a couple of hours, with no police in sight, Hunter Knopfsinger directed traffic, doing the best to keep drivers from attempting to ford the floodwaters. Nobody's out here in our community helping at all, so it's up to our community. We got to help each other. And sure enough, one driver went through, came out, then stalled. And eventually, Norfolk police finally showed up. They blocked off the street and relieved Hunter Knopfsinger of traffic duties. You gotta do what you gotta do. Not the worst flood Norfolk has seen, but just another chapter in life at sea level. Now, throughout the day, we were checking with uh, Norfolk Emergency Management to see uh, if there was any major damage reports. We haven't found any quite yet, but obviously we're going to be working throughout the night and into tomorrow to make sure that we've covered uh, all our bases in terms of looking for damage reports to make sure that uh, everything kind of went off as we believe it did go off. Not, not too many widespread damage, but definitely widespread tidal flooding in Norfolk. For now, at The Hague, I'm Matt Gregory, 13 News Now.